What's up, everyone? It's everyone, and I'm here with episode two of AE Builds. Uh, so in this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at some more of those vehicles in the vehicle archive thread on the forums and trying to recreate a few of them. So right now, I'm just in Halcyon Town. I'm diving down a bit until I find a stream that I can tap into for some steam power for this first design that I'm going to be showcasing. Um, so yeah, the first design I'm going to be... Oh, here's one. first design I'm going to be looking at is this amazing steam engine creation by Retta. Um, they've created this absolutely wonderful design that I'm really keen to show with you guys. So I'm going to be lazy and rather than clear this out, I'm going to chuck a collector there, grab some pipes, and then just bring the steam back up with me. Like this. And now, what I'll do is I'll just put the design on the screen. You can see this steam engine is pretty amazing. Um, it's got a lot of layering going on. And it should be really fun to build. So, just get rid of some of these terapists. And we can get started. So, in this design, I'm going to start from the bottom up. So, oh, let's move the edge down. You can see here that it's all built on wooden bridge blocks and pipes as the foundation with some iron underneath. So, I am going to build this as true to the design as possible because I think it's fantastic. And that is actually solid iron, so not reinforced. So, <clears throat> Let's put some here. Okay, so I've got my iron foundation. Next of all, I'm going to put in those pipes, uh, which alternate, and the door at the end. But before I do that, I need to put in some wood bridge blocks. Like this. Now, the downfall of wooden bridge blocks is you can see that they reveal what's behind uh, to a certain extent. Um, that's more a graphical bug than anything though. So let's grab those pipes again, and a door. It's at the end. That, and then... I actually... Ooh, sneaky. So I'm going to actually have to place the large mechanical trapdoors, which of course I'm running low on first. The other thing I don't do is I don't do an inventory check before I start recording, which is a habit I should probably get into. Okay, I'm not sure how many of these I'm meant to have. Get out of there. Okay, so the way the steam works is it comes in through every second hole like that. Now, something that's really cool about this also is that it allows steam because normally the problem with using steam is that you need a hole for this pipe to pass through, and that means people can get through into your supposedly secure creation. However, you can pass pipes through the non-origin block of an object, and it will carry a steam through, which is what you see with the engine. So now I've got that foundation. I'll lift it, the image up a bit. And we can see that the first thing we need to put is some brass roofing above the door. Actually, I guess I'm going to put another trap door there for appearance's sake. And then we have a small trap door. Got plenty of those. And then three large trap doors. And these need to be placed first because of layering. And then some touch plates. And Retta here has used fancy touch plates, so I will also use fancy touch plates. And you can go disappear. Okay. Grab some more piping. Wait, nope, I did it in the wrong order. I'm gonna have to get rid of you. Pipe goes through the middle. And I really 
need to remember to block off things before I start recording. Okay, now we've got our two fancy touch plates, which go there. And now the interesting bit, the layering. So in this design, Red Earth used an engine, a forge, and a brazier all laid on top of each other, as well as some brass pipe. So the first thing we want to place is going to be the engine, which goes right here. Get lost. Okay, then we want to place the brazier in. And it's going to go here behind the panel. Next, we're going to put in the, our brass pipe. And while I'm at it, I'll just grab the forge. Energy. So the brass pipe comes up here, which then feeds into the forge, like so. And I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but you can hear the engine whirring away, which is, in my opinion, really cool. Now, the next thing Reddit has is... A little graphical bug. Okay. Let's get rid of that. I believe it's some zinc ore. That acts as coal. Um, and then some wooden bridge, rope bridge blocks. Along with some wooden bridge railing. Like so. To connect to the next part of the train. So I'll just scroll across now and you can see we've now got our carriage. So we've got two large trapdoors with two small trapdoors in between like so. This and this. I'm just going to extend it out so it looks a bit less awkward. And some people are chatting to me. It's Zep Ingo recording a video right now. So Reddit loaded up theirs, and I'm just going to copy that because I lack creativity at the moment. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see what's being said in the chat or my face is blocking it. Let's just check. Oh no, you can see the top half of the conversation. Okay, then we've got two barrels and some crates. Crate, crate. So, and then two barrels. Finally, we need our fancy touch plates, which go underneath here. And here. And I bet you have to put it. No, I put it in the right spot. Okay, so I'm just going to chuck some backdrop in for effect now. Let's use some hmm, mixed. Uh, what have a lot of brick backdrop? So just drop all these in. And I, yeah, I'm really a fan of this design. I think it looks great. Even if there's a little bit of a visual glitch going on there. Okay. Now... Something that Reddit did that I find really, really cool is the actual uh, I guess station they've built around it, the design as well. So, oh, okay, I just realized that Reddit also has what appears to be a brazier hidden behind the barrel there. No, unfortunately I have no notches, Zep. And they have a chest up there. I don't have a small mech chest still, so I'm just going to chuck an android head up. 
And now if I go up here, you can see they've got all these cranes hanging from this really cool wood bridge platform. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So I'm just going to also try and replicate this. Just drag across. Um, bricks to fill in. And just quickly make some more bricks. Da -de -da -de -da -da -da. And Zep is leaving. Hello, Zep. You get a shout out. Okay, so let's have a look. See, the bridge sits four blocks higher than the steam part of this. So I'm just going to create some bridge, wooden bridge blocks because I don't actually think I've got any on me. Okay, so let's grab those bridge blocks and line them up. I want four blocks, so one... There. Is there one in between? No, there's no in between bit. There. We've got a gap there and there. Grab some rope ladder, just have enough, which is awfully convenient. Grab some more iron from metallurgy. Wonderful word that, isn't it? Metallurgy. I can connect off into the never nether. Uh, Okay, and just stash some stuff up here for aesthetics. So we want industrial. Let's get some barrels going like Reddit did. I'm gonna have a vat over here. And a bit of lighting too, because it's a bit dark. That's not symmetrical. Move you there. I'm a bit of a symmetry freak. Okay, let's get some more decoration going. Maybe crate there. Uh, crate in the sky, apparently. Something like that. Okay, and we'll get a bit more lighting once that lights up now. We've got some crane thing also, some small cranes. They're pretty cool, so I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Did Red actually use crane bases? No. They just hung it straight down. Mm. Oh, that was lucky. So one there, one there, one there. No, I did it the wrong way. There we go. And actually, yes. So, it's going to sound like me talking about RAM stuff, but I one of the things I did really like about the design was the differences in heights of the cranes, it really gave the appearance of them being in motion and uh, being dynamic rather than you stack objects in every place. And I believe that's most of this design. You can see that the train goes to this storm here. I'm not going to build that in this video. But yeah, I really like this design. I think it's awesome. I'm just going to chuck a couple of candles around to give a bit more light but yeah I really like this design and obviously it's expandable all you need to do is just check more bridge blocks out um, but one of my favorite things is just the sound of the engine near the train it gives us it this life and it's awesome um, so this is definitely a design I'll be using in the future as well in some of my builds and projects why are there so many things dropping on my head? I don't even know where they're sporting from. Let's see. There. 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 Although it totally does not. Heck, there. There. And there. There. And yes, I know I could have made a farm, but oh, that's my actual one. I can never tell which of these cracks are actually vents and which aren't. Which ones are moors? 
Right. So now we see that second one is actually lit, which looks kind of cool. Not sure I want my train to be on. My train's cargo to be on fire seems a little risky. But oh well. Okay, so yeah, I think that's all for this design. Again, I love it. And commendations to Reda for coming up with something so cool. So the next design I'm going to show you is another train design. Uh, this one's by Tenman14. And I'm just going to chuck that up on the screen now. Hopefully. Success! Okay, so let's zoom in on this thing. It's quite similar. Um, the spacing of the engine and the forge is exactly the same uh, as Retta's design. A bit different to DTEX from my last video. You can see they've made use of brain glass and brain tank tops to give it a uh, rounded top. I'm not entirely certain what that block peeking out from underneath the forges, but I'll see if I can work that out as I try to build this design. But yeah, I just like this design too, just because it's simple and it looks great. Um, it's a lot less complex than Reddit's design, but sometimes complexity isn't what you're going for, pinch wise so I'm just going to fill in some space with dirt, chuck down some stone and let's get to work so i'm gonna start with the wheels we're gonna use touch plates with the triangle selected don't ask me um the only problem with doing designs like this is that you can only have your trains facing one way because the items only face one way you can't reverse okay someone probably can work out a way to do it but I don't know how to reverse the direction of a forge. Um, would be really cool if someone could teach me how. So we've got some touch plates, then I'm going to grab forge and engine. So we need to place the engine first, my bad, which is going to sit there above the touch plate and then the forge, like so. I'm just looking at this design and I'm actually gonna modify it a teeny bit and make it a teeny bit wider like that and then have it up there so Tanaman feel free to get cranky at me for editing your design that's gonna be need to be a large touch plate because if we do this then we can then build a bigger cabin. So I'm going to go into industrial, grab some brain glass, brain tank top. I'm still not sure what that block pinging out underneath the engine is, but we can worry about that in a bit because if I do this now, oh yes, brain glass, we get some awesome brain glass clipping going on. I forgot how dodgy that looks. Okay, so what fixes the appearance of rain glass again? Other background blocks, isn't it? So if I go up a tank top, I can never remember how rain glass works. You go down up, yeah. Like no, you don't go down up. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that, and then. What am I going to use? Maybe some copper backdrop. Trains. Well, it's just copper. And there goes my forge. Rip. Okay. Let's try again with the metallurgy placement. Forge an engine. Engine goes here. Forge sticks out the end. And so the reason I'm making this change to the design, and this design actually works best above ground, I've just realized, because then you can actually put some glass backdrop in like that and have some iron 
backdrop running behind something like that or something but what you can do is if I sneak under here I shouldn't really be editing other people's designs when I'm doing a an, a video about me building other people's designs so you can theoretically hook stuff up yeah there we go so uh, now that I've kind of hijacked so to speak not actually I'm not a hijacker something like that almost now that I've hijacked tenements train um, I'll actually recreate it faithfully to the original design up here because everyone loves trains so why not have more trains so we need large trapdoor small trapdoor forge engine some brain stuff and yeah that was it oh touch plates i knew i was forgetting something so touch plate red one two three touch plate red we're gonna have our large trapdoor and our small trapdoor small trapdoor engine forge and now let's so i think what yeah so what we were seeing is this block here changes its appearance um, because brain glass does silly things and that is actually the top of the tank like that um brain glass has a really weird behavior but yes yeah, so that's how you build tenements train and i think it like it's certainly a different and simpler design to redis train um although there are a lot of things similar but i think i like them both equally really they they both let me give it a background yeah like they both achieve different things i think it does need a block there just to differentiate the um fact that that is part of the train so i'm just gonna put in i don't know some copper maybe i mean iron so let's have a look what that looks like oh i'm gonna redo the glass again too aren't i forge glass 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 yeah like that so that looks really cool um you've got a really cool effect going on with that iron block now with the border how it stay still how it sticks out there that's really cool um and apparently i've opened that trap door oh okay so those are a couple of train designs i'm just gonna go kill some therapists and make them be quiet okay that's done so now the next design i wanted to show you guys is a lot more adventurous should i say um of me and i'm not sure if i even have the resources on me to build this because it's amazing but I'm going to try to replicate one of Dr. D Derp's Zeppelins. So just to quickly demonstrate a few, I'm just going to actually travel there. So they're in the world of Dumbarton. I'm probably saying that wrong, Dumbarton. Dumbarton. Super orkies if it's actually a private world. Oh, I'm spelling it wrong. D U M B A R T U N. Okay, it looks like I don't have access, so I'm just gonna have to put the picture on the video. So it'll hopefully be going up now. Any second. Success! So I'm gonna try and build this thing. Which as you can see looks absolutely amazing. Um, I just need to actually check if I have a ship's wheel on me. Yes, I do. That was very, very lucky. So let's teleport back to the spawn. 
I'm in Halcyon Town at the moment, so this world is open to the public, which is why I've had people popping into the video. So if you want to check out anything, any of the things I've been doing recently, uh, AE Builds Episode 1 was recorded over here, and I've just been floating around down here somewhere. Just fall straight down from the spawn, essentially. So I'm going to need quite a bit of room, so I'm just going to fly. Oh, I forgot that existed. I'm going to fly over here. And my phone's buzzing. Okay. So, this should be far enough. Okay. Um, how am I going to begin this? Because this design is massive. I think I'm going to start with the body of the ship, and then I'll move on to the Zeppelin. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So, I'm just counting here. It looks like from that, the body of the ship, it's going to be about 30 blocks wide, and it's made out of a combination of brass and reinforced brass. So, let's just grab those blocks, and I'll build the skeleton of it. First, so some brass, some reinforced brass, and here we go. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now, I'm looking at a slightly bigger picture than what you guys can see, but it looks like the first bit extends across four blocks. So, I mean, eight blocks. So, let's just do that. Six, seven, eight. Okay, now here. We have two iron. I need to make some more scaffolding. Should have done that down when I was at the forge. Other than that forge bonus. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, if you craft metallurgy objects while you're next to a forge, you get double the items, which is pretty helpful. Um, seeing how often you use stuff when building. Do, 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 do. Do, why did I get rid of that grass? Oh, so I'm going to need that. Now I've got some going down and another block here. Then we extend across another eight blocks after the door for the room, which I'm guessing is the captain. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this design is so complex. Actually, okay, we've got a window, which is really cool. This goes up to the same height, and then we just join them like that. I can chuck my ship's wheel in. I reckon it's almost a guarantee that there's one item I'm missing here. So, Dr. Deb's done something really cool, so I'm going to fly up here so you can see. And they've used raw wood, the resource as the step to stand on to use this the wheel which is really cool okay i'm gonna add some more scaffolding support zoom out a bit so i can see and this scaffolding support then connects to some iron backdrop which is how the airship is tethered or the balloon i should say is tethered to the airship Okay, so we're actually making some pretty good progress. Um, I'm just going to chuck that piece of scaffolding up there for later. I might actually just do this room, um, get at least one room over and done with. So we want to have a window of fancy glass in the middle. Um, every time I have an awkward pause in my talking, what I'm doing is I'm switching to a large image. <sighs> so I can actually see what I'm supposed to be building at a decent size. Okay, open that door. I'm a stickler for putting blocks behind doors um, so that when they're closed, you don't just see straight through them. Uh, I'm not sure how other people feel about that. I can't tell. 
Dr. Derp has done that on this airship because the door's open. And when a door is open, it just automatically displays blue sky behind it. Okay, so we've got some trap door there, but I'm not going to close that. Then we've got... This is where the counting gets hard. One, two, three, four, five... So for a total of six blocks, and then we've got some iron above that block for five blocks, and there's brass all the way along that, and then another two blocks of iron. And then main brass and then four blocks of brass. One, two, three, four, and now I can get back to using this. So I'm gonna wrap around like that until we three blocks in, then go down again, get a bit more zoom. And then we're gonna go one, two, down, one, two, down. And then one across, and now we're back to brass, which lines up perfectly with this. And coming from this side, the door there. I put the door there. I'm totally awake. Okay, so we need the reinforced again, and we're going to wrap under here. We're going to go down two and across one. Then we're going to zigzag it a bit. So. And then on this one, we come across as well. Pro tip, invest in building, because it lets you reach really far when you're stuck behind a door. Okay, so this is all filled with a combination of copper and brass. Um, Dr. Depp does some really cool stuff here, so I'm just going to grab... Actually, I'll leave all the engineering stuff till after. Um, and the backdrops till after. So then up this floor, I'm just gonna edit that because that's. Uh, oh, I fell out. I'm just gonna edit that one to put in the reinforced copper, which gives the appearance of the pipe traveling through it. So really, it looks like there should. Theoretically, be one there as well. And here. I'm going to grab those pipes and do that brass piping work now. So the pipe runs through the middle. Through the middle, not the bottom. And acts sort of the way of connecting everything on the ship. Um, and giving it the appearance of everything being powered by steam, which is really cool. Um, right now for the bottom part, so we go wrap under like that, down one, across two, down one, across two, across, and this is now the bottom of the ship. So I can run that across to about, this is the bit where we find out if I've spaced the ship right. Two blocks before here, so right there. And then we go up like that. And then across and up. I think I've got that shape right. First try. Awesome. Okay, so pull the U down and cross. Again, we're running through the middle of the ship. We're going to pop up there. Right across the middle of the ship. I'm not going to have the pipe going out um, through the enforced asteroid on it like that. And now what we want to do is we want to layer 
these metals to distinguish. I'm gonna have to craft some more brass. Backdrop. Let's make 300, that should be enough. There's no kill like overkill. So we're just gonna run copper behind where the pipes are. Then grab the brass and just fill everything else in with that. I think everything below deck is brass, yep. Um, keep going. It was actually really fun um, trying to build other people's designs and copy them. There's definitely a challenge involved because everyone is a genius when it comes to this kind of stuff, apparently. And I'm not. Right, so we want two beds for the peoples. We've got these trap doors, but they look like. I don't know, I'm zooming in here. It, once you go in, you can't get out. So. What we might do is, I'm going to do a throwback to an old tutorial of mine for multi-control engineering. So, this you need time switch and doors. Nice and easy. So, except we're not using doors, we're using trap doors because I'm awake. So here's my trap door. I'm going to set it for three seconds. And if I open this, yeah, I can go through and then, oh no, I'm trapped inside. So the way around it is, I'm going to put a trapdoor over here, set it for three seconds. I'm going to mine the original trapdoor, put it back. Sorry, that was a timed switch, not a trapdoor. But what we can see now is that both of these switches will activate this trapdoor. So I'll do it again and hopefully use the right words this time. So trapdoor. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, so, timed, switch, timed switch, large trapdoor, open, timed switch, replace large trapdoor, and we have success. So now we can go up and down our ship. Okay, I'm going to go, hopefully drown my sorrow about not being able to say stuff properly by finishing the captain's quarters. We've got a... It's raining. And as I heard out last time, rain is very loud, so I'm going to turn the audio down even further. So we've got a... Can blah, blah, there. And then we want to have our little crystal display. I hope I've actually got some crystals on me. Now I've just dumped everything in my vault. Let's have a look. Oh no, we're good. Crystal. Uh, we've got a fainting lounge. Fainting couch. My bad. In red how fancy then we're going to get our small fireplace and a bookshelf from furniture and the bookshelf sits across the wall like that okay so we've got a large chunk of the ship built um the next thing i want to look at is just getting this bit out of the way the rudder um i can't actually see the whole of this so i'll just improvise the bottom right so for this we're going to need some metallurgy and copper and why do i get the feeling my laptop's just about to die what's my battery no it's charging i'm just lagging okay so, there, I can't reach, there you go, across here, 
and all the way across to here. Then, hmm, out here, I think. I think that works. Mm. Let's just go with that. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so over here now, the front this of our airship, we have our cannon, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it looks awesome. So let's add one. Um, I like building things on a whim. So we've got our little step for our person. So it makes me think it is a cannon of some description. Then we need some rope bridge. Preferably of me not being cut in half by it. Now I've got a collector with some pipe. <laughs> Engineering. Ooh, layering. Okay, so I need to take that bridge away. There we go. Grab the pipe. Run that through it. And jar of acid on the top. Which is going to utility? Do I have no acid? Well, this is awkward. Jar of water it is. So, I essentially have a glorified water gun. Okay, last but not least, we need some lead pipe, which is something people don't really use that often. Uh, lead pipe there, and that's that done. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, my guesstimation skills tell me that there is nine, ten pieces of heavy chain there. Whether or not I'm right, we shall see. So, industrial, heavy chain. And I just dropped some. Okay, so we're running our heavy chain. Not there, maybe it's... No, it's not lining up with the picture. Maybe it's light chain. Or not heavy chain. Ah, large heavy chain. Because I know my deep board items so well. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay, there we go. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the large crane base, which will help give us a location of where our blue needs to be. Then large heavy chain here. For the same height, and be nice if it could all line up. Okay, now I'm just going to do a bit the front of the ship where we extend out our brass, and we need some more scaffolding. So we go. One, two, three blocks out, then up one, then another six, no, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have some scaffolding from here to here. This is filled in with an iron scaffold. Iron, iron, with a lantern. Scaffold, scaffold. So, Dr. Depp's made really good use of this alternating pattern. Now we get the change in curvature. Like this. So now we're really focused more on the going upwards, so giving the appearance of the tether, I guess, sagging. I've been told sagging is a dangerous word to use. 
can't figure out why. Okay, so if, oh, sorry, we've got one piece of that and two pieces of scaffolding. Same thing here, one piece and two pieces of scaffolding, and we have touched. Yep, the side of the ship. Okay, now the balloon is going to be interesting to make accurately. Oh, actually, no, I've messed that up. How have I messed that up? Got three in a row, then. Did I use too much chain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it looks like I've used one too many pieces of chain there. Okay. There we go. That should do it. Okay, so balloon blocks. Really, hope I have some of this actually. Balloon block is under under utility or industrial? Industrial. Now I'm going to need to make some more. Ooh, I hope I have enough. Well, this could be very awkward. So it starts at this height. Above our trapdoor, and then runs across to here, like so. Oh, I know what I did. These are different heights. And that's one type of chain. So I was right on one. Then wrong on the other. How typical. Okay. Then touches here. I'm not gonna have enough balloon. I mean flax. This is very awkward. I'm gonna have to go find flax in the middle of a video. I am sorry. Okay. Maybe I can. How much of the other balloon do I have? One hundred and one of. Okay, we're going to make this balloon our strike balloon because I have lots of that. Crisis averted, guys. We got this. It's going to look a lot more modern, but nothing wrong with that. Watch me be, have like one, two little strike balloon now. Or because I said crisis averted. You. Yeah. Okay, so. We go. Zoom. Across. Then up and across. And there goes. The dog next door barking at me. Or it's something because it hates everything. Three, no earnings thing, two out. Then we're going two up, one, two, then four up, one, two, three, four. Back. Ooh, I messed that up somewhere. Ah. No. Be nice if I could actually make this without any mistakes, but that's asking too much of me. My ability to not mess up at the most inopportune moments. Okay, so now I've got this gradual decline, I guess. So we go one, two, 
one, two, and then we fill in this space and give our balloon a little tail. And actually looks fantastic. Dr. Derp, you are a genius. Let's go gold damask, partly because it looks great and partly because I've got a lot of it. So we're going to fill in here like this. Now, oh. And then now the bottom like that. And I've just realized that that goes behind. Now we fill in our entire balloon. Um, notice how I'm going behind these blocks just to fill in the space. But I'm only going behind blocks that are where you have sky visible if you don't. This is actually looking really nice. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Okay, now I guess spam fill. Boing. I feel like this video is going to be longer than the previous one. So now you've seen the little bit of fin on the top of the balloon, which is bigger actually, so it starts here, comes down to here, goes up to, then out, then out like that. Like that, and with that, I believe we have just made our own version of Dr. Derp's ship. The only thing it's missing now is the lanterns on the inside, so I'll just switch to my lighting tab and doom, doom. The symmetry here is nice. I appreciate the top bottom symmetry of the balloon apart from the fins. But again, that's normal on an airship anyway. No, there we go. I really like this design. So there we have the ship um, designed by Dr. Derp and recreated by me. And I'm really happy with that. That's just going to stay here. I love this. Um, let's just add a couple of extra little things. Or have I dumped them? Nope. Every captain needs a teddy. Okay, now I'm happy. I really like this. So I'll just get rid of that. Um, Hanging chain there is really cool in the empty space. And I guess you can just populate the hole here as you like. You can just go into industrial, grab a no, big sack, grab little sacks and little crates, industrial crates, and little barrels because there's no room to place an actual tall item. Well, there is there actually, so let's have a tall barrel shoved in there, and just like a couple of little crates and barrels dotted around. Like that. This. I took items out of my inventory and I put other items on top of them. I'm really paying attention. I'm going to put that there. Like that have some cargo. Yeah, no, let's make them carry a couple of purples or something. Sneak one up the front of the there. 
yeah, I am really happy with how that turned out. That looks brilliant. And I'm going to screenshot that now. There we go. Now I'm loving that. Well, that's all for this episode of AE Builds. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of Let's Play videos soon. One featuring Chadot the Parrot's world. Uh, not sure which one yet. Um, they're still getting back to me on that. And another one featuring one of DTEC's quests, which I'm kind of curious about because I've got no clue what that entails. So it'll be really interesting and hopefully fun to do. Um, but until next time, that's all from me. Thanks for watching.